Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and, uh, right now we're getting attacked by Lanius' Discord, which is not very good for us, but hey, we'll see what happens, but we must do a focus. Now, I've tried this a few times already, and it hasn't gone great, so I'm going to immediately try to get to the declare the Provisional Republic of Texas, because we might end up in a two-front war, which wouldn't be very good. So, we need to own all of Texas. The, the time is almost upon us to declare a new Republic of Texas. Before we do so, we must ensure that we have the support of the Texan Brotherhood or liberate their lands if they have fallen. Well, we'll see what happens. We've got a couple comments to play, or play, talk through as well. So, let's see. Got a couple more divisions. Another Spec Ops soldier. Don't mind if we do. Hopefully, we can hold the line because we might have a certain Santana. Santa Ana be very upset with us and not like us very much. And that wouldn't be very good for us, regardless, though. Uh, I'm starting to build up a lot of forts around here just in case Santa Ana gets a little bit too aggressive for us, so we're building lots of forts. But a couple comments include, we should play as New Canaan. I actually have already played as them twice. I played as one before they had an update, and once they had an update. And then I'll probably be playing as, play as them at least one more time. But we'll see what happens. Ooh, someone died. A victory? Oh, well, that's good. A victory for all of Lone Star I shall remember. Uh, someone else said I should play as Hyperborea in TNO. I will, I promise you that. I will definitely play as Hyperborea eventually. Uh, my plan for Old World Blues and TNO is to play at least every unique country, which so unique I mean has a focus tree. Every country that has a focus tree, I will play at least once. If not twice. We'll see what happens. It depends on the branches for the uh, enemies. Let's grab some marksmanship rifles, that's good. Uh, let's see, and also someone says I should play as Poland. Like, the Dreams of Poland mod, or stuff like that. So, eventually we'll do that. Also, I deployed some soldiers early on. If you'll take a look at these guys. Yeah, I deployed them early just because, well... We kind of needed them. Galaxy wise, 400 versus 4,000. It's not that bad, actually. Uh, they have 78 division still, which is not good, but it seems pretty pretty deadlocked right now. Especially, ooh, well, I guess Santa Ana is going to war with those guys, so that's good. I'm going to save some political power. I would like to core cannon Air Force Base so we can get some more defense on there just in case, maybe? Surprised they're not really attacking any bit more. If I retreated you two, what could happen? Nothing? Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's see. Also, someone suggested... Oh, we need to do this more. Cryptology stuff. Keep doing our cryptology and convert the name to be the... Oh. Hold on. Please, time. Please stop doing that. The Texas Rangers. So, let's see what happens there. Unrestricted piloting. Cool. Thank you very much. And let's keep working on the air stuff just because air is pretty important. That'd be quite bueno. And just in case... We're going to need more divisions, rally the Texan Brotherhood, and I'm going to immediately do this so we can control the Brotherhood's divisions, hopefully. Now that we've completed both economic and military reforms, we can finally declare a provisional Republic of Texas. Together with the Texan Brotherhood, we shall bring peace to the Texan Wasteland. Hopefully there's no bugs regarding this. There might be, there might not be. Even if someone said, even though we might become like tribal, we can still do some pretty good stuff. I mean, we are just about to get three-dimensional printers, so... I'm feeling pretty good about that. We're going to get that. In 60 days, I don't think we would actually be able to do replicators if we were, it was bugged out. But let's see if there's bugs. And immediately go for replicators. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Our stockpile, we need more spec ops equipment, which is not good. Huh. Um, hmm. I'll lower this. Lower, lower, lower. So we can spread the wealth. Share the wealth, as some might say. For more factories going across to different places, which would be a good thing for us right now. We could use more planes, but... We're going to hold off for now for that. Let's see, go down to four and then do that. Thank you. Got some pre-war tools as well, just in case things don't get completed. Can we do this one? No, we cannot. Infantry stuff is always pretty good to do. Re Scout recon kits? Sure. Why not? Let's see. Uh, oh, we have rapid response divisions, someone said. Let's see. I'm really surprised they're not attacking anymore. I'm really, really, really surprised. We have veterans, rapid response division. Someone said I could probably rename those guys if we really wanted to. We might. We'll see what happens. And we have the developed defenders, which is pretty good. Yeah, I don't sure they're not really attacking us anymore, which is fine with me. But oh my goodness, oh yeah, off screen. I mean, they're only five thousand casualties in total, so that's not bad. I'm just a little worried about these guys though. If I were to pull off a few more divisions, machine assisted encryption, nice. Let's say I'm gonna pull out you guys. Come, come to Odessa. Do we have any upgrades here? My person. I'm gonna go with more ninja. Why not? I like ninja. No, they're not attacking us. At least that's good. What if I pulled off three here and left the lawman? Now that... Well, of course, it ruins our entrenchment. There you go. Get back in there. Get back in there. Cancel unleash. We got some more divisions. That's actually pretty darn good. Um, well, they're not attacking us. Well, they technically are attacking us. I'm going to go ahead and throw f these divisions under someone else. Because I really do not trust 
Sand to Anna. Basic drills are good. Let's grab that. We could. We could grab that as well. Anything down here, actually? Grenade rifles? Yeah, definitely. Where are we building up our land forts again? No, we're kind of done with that area. Uh, let's see. No. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. So right here. Just in case. Because playing this off screen showed me that Santa Anna's going to come. And they're going to be very difficult to take out. Regardless, let's go ahead and grab some impact bumpers. That seems pretty good. Can I core this piece of territory yet? Yes, we can. I might wait, though. Let's get through this focus first and see what happens. Just because if we can unite with the Brotherhood, we might get a free core on Canada Air Force Base. Maybe, maybe not. So, we'll see what happens. With some pacification, how much armor do we have? A uh, good amount. Dogs, we have some amounts. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we'll take... Take that for now. Ooh, that's nice. Western pacification is fine. Because we have enough compliance there. You guys... We're doing pretty well there, actually. Maintenance stuff. Diplomatic training, because why not? We've got about 13,000 manpower. Declare the Provisional Texas Republic of Texas the Bloomin' Yellow Rose. Stations from Lone Star to Dallas have been abuzz with a proclamation of the 23rd century. A Texan Economic Union, formerly a confederation of allies with the Texas Brotherhood and the Lone Star as its central members, has unified into a single centralized state. Such growth has always has its pains, but the news has been received well from citizens across the Union. Nearly everyone seems to believe that a brighter rose will soon bloom. The drafting of a new constitution is already underway, with the powers that promise him to abide by the will of the people and lay in the foundations of the new home. Have you heard the news? We will form the country and get a new focus tree. The new Texan state will inherit all generals, field marshals, admirals, troops, technology, and most national spirits from Lone Star and the Texan Brotherhood if they are still part of the Texan Economic Union. We will then have an opportunity to conclude the policies or continue the policies of each nation to decide on the future of the Republic. That is good. Oh. Well. Okay, we, we capitulated. And we become the Provisional Republic of Texas. This is not good to do. Oh! Are we out of the war with these guys? Okay. That's a little different. I was not expecting that. That's a nice flag, though. It's not too unique, but hey, taking stock, well, why not? And we'll check out our research soon enough. The Re Reformation of the Texan Republic of Texas has long been a dream of many with within or within Lone Star and the Texan Rangers. Now is that last reality. Before we blindly stumble into a unified future, however, we must take stock of our current situation. That's cool that we actually did that. Oh, we lost the research slot, too. We got a lot of stuff research already. Tech level is not bad. Maybe the bug is gone, actually, so. That'd be pretty good. Shell back would be pretty cool. Engineering, already done. Industry, well, I guess we go back and do some replicators. I don't like that we lost a research slot, which really sucks, but whatever. Stuff like that, man. It's kind of okay. Nothing down there. Anything over here? No. Grab some more range, because we can. Drop tanks are always nice to get. Land doctrine, we already are done with that. Specialized doctrine. Oh, let's do that one as well. Wait, do we have power armor? Unity of Austin. Huh. So we've got a lot... Wow. So this is their infantry template, huh? 20 combat width is not great. <laughs> not bad. Throw these guys over here, because I just want to make sure that we all use the same type of template. Infantry, that'll be fine. Uh, oh, crud arenas. Oh, what is this? 20 combat width inf? Uh, that might be the stuff we were using, actually, earlier. One, two. Put you guys together. Uh, give me three dudes. One, two, three. three right there. there you go. Um, wow, what are these? 12 combat with these are Log Keeper Platoons. Okay, sure, why not? These are the veterans we were using before, I believe, so I'll keep you, uh, uh I don't know. I-20 Patrolman. This is the 20 combat with divisions we, were, we had earlier, so keep you guys separate for now. Ooh, Silent Watchers, Alamo Guards. Are you, mm, power armor, I want to use you, but we're using Spec Ops. Hmm. You guys, 29 divisions. I'm going to convert you to infantry. We're not going to have supplies for this, but that's alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to keep you guys right there. Well, at least we become a new nation. I don't think Unity of Austin should really have uh, the ability to overtake us. I could be wrong, though. Oh, uh, ooh, Rusk. There's Medic Lucky. Savage. Oh, yeah, he's looking really good. He's looking really, really good. More infantry. He's Pekka. Pekka. Okay, cool. And then you are Skill. Skill. And then you are P. Well, he's Speckle. Uh, do we want P or Speckle? Let's go with P up here, because we can Speckle later. Alright. These guys, I never use these guys. Convert to normal infantry. Three guys over there. There you go. These infantry templates are still 20 combo with, which are not bad, but I prefer normal infantry. There you go. 
And then, actually, I'm going to pull you all out. Wow, that's 33 divisions. You guys, strike team beta. They are technically special forces, so patrolmen, thank you. It's not bad. Two things of spec ops, maybe? Oh, we do have some of these guys. Strike team delta. Oh, rapid response core is better, though. So we have basically two teams here that could be seen as special forces. And we have another group here of more infantry, which is not bad. So you shall be led by Jesse Andrews, because we can. Because these guys will be against Santa Ana, maybe. Uh, let's get Speckle here. And let's go ahead and grab... Oh, we got some money, too. Ambrose Chamberlain. Reckless, huh? So he's skilled. Oh, that's good. He's Psy. Okay, I'll grab you, Ambrose. Awesome. And we have our special forces. Kind of special forces. Henry, because you got a lot more things there. And we shall use e Ia? Ia! Ah, uh, this is a pal. I'm going to go with the guy who is a pal. Hmm. William Seward is level 4, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so we are quite a big nation. Oh, crud. We have no factories going on stuff. Well, we're probably not going to use that. Get some recon kits. Oh, man. I really don't want to use power armor, but I think we're not going to use it. I'm probably going to convert them, actually, because it doesn't make sense for us to right now. Are we out of resources already? Holy crap. What is wrong with the resources? That is not ideal. Hopefully that'll fix itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grenade arenos. Some monoplane attackers. Get some of this as well. Don't really need any more ships. Maybe we'll make one. Maybe we got a ship. Did we get any ships? Oh, we did. Cool. So we don't need to make one. You should be led by Robert Cook. Ah, oh, yes. Good, good, good. My apologies for taking a while with this. It's just It's kind of necessary to get this done. Go 15 on those goo dudes. Get three, get three, get three, and go up to five. Why not? Go up to three because you don't need that many there. Go up to five. Let's go up to five. Put 15, 15. Do that more. Get me another 10 there though, and we're done. Cool. Divisions we're making. Um, actually, I probably should not get rid of that. Oh, riders. Airwaves. Eh, I don't really care. I'll be honest. Ooh, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't even be bothered. I'll edit whatever templates we need. Lawmen are cool and all. Riot control. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've, we're trying to maximize our special forces anyway, so... Wow. They had a buttload of templates. I could be using this, but... Uh, I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it. Strike team beta, just make sure we're good at like there. Too bad we can't convert those guys. Yeah, I'm gonna not I'm not gonna use power armor in this campaign just because when we play as a Texan Brotherhood, then I'll use power armor, so we don't really need that. Ooh, Lubbock veterans, of course, we can't make. Infantry are pretty good to always have. Make six divisions of that. That's not bad. Train one at a time so we can get a couple more guys over here. And then keep making some patrolmen. That's fine. That's good to have. Riders, we don't really need to worry about. So we got these guys, we got these guys, and these guys. Not bad. All right, so we put you guys over here already. So actually, I'm gonna go and do this. You guys are gonna come over here, here actually, and I'm actually gonna trade one more. It'll be not a great one, but that'll be okay because you guys are gonna defend right here. So now we technically don't have allies besides the unity of Austin, which is fine with me. But that does mean we don't get that many more guys help defend territory once Lannis attacks again, which is not gonna be very great. But whatever. It is what it is. And now this is not going to be very good to defend either. Look at all these god darn waterways. Holy smokes. So you guys come down here. Actually, don't even do that. Just do this. We built this area up like this, I believe, if I remember correctly. Like that. Not bad. And then you guys are going to have to defend against Santa Ana, who we're probably going to have to end up fighting. Alone. With Oh, maybe not alone. We have Unity of Austin. But then again, can I really rely on the Unity of Austin? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. You're gonna get a new mouse. It's gonna kind of icky in terms of clicking. Harder and harder to click. Yeah, maybe we should get a new mouse. Cool. All right. And is this? Oh, it's not. There's a lot of territory that's not cord. Oh, Lone Star disabled as well as Houston. Oh, that sucks. Chop chop expansion simulator. Oh, the simulator trainings. Oh. We became a major power. Form private. Oh, set national achievement check time. Um, okay. 
Oh, wait, what are you... Patrolman? Wait, who are you fighting? Oh, you're probably fighting... Oh, we can go right back to War with Lanius? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh, look at that. We got a lot of roads to build. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of things to build here. We have 282 political power. We're going to build a lot of this stuff up as well. Build up more roads, too, if we can. I probably shouldn't build roads where we don't have a lot of supply, but whatever. If that's the case, we might just go back to war, and we might actually be able to defend a little better. Oh, do we go to war? Uh, we could puppet them. There we go. That's a little better. Radar-wise, looking pretty good over here. Uh, do it over here as well. That's fine. Ooh, air bases. Not bad. Not bad. There you go. You need some there, too. So you guys are beating up Zapata. I don't want to get a war as fast as I can, just because I wanted some time for our divisions to train. Followers of the Apocalypse. Well, that's fine. Let them come. Pretty sure we already had that earlier on, but whatever. You guys do that. Do that. Train if you need to as well. Pretty much everyone's going to have to train here. And what's their stockpile like? Taking stock. A world has changed. The world as we know has changed fast. Not but a few decades ago, Lone Star was a prosperous and peaceful trade settlement, and the Texan Rangers were united with their brotherhood kin against the raiders that roamed Texas. Now everything has changed. The provisional Republic of Texas, once a dream of native optimists, is a reality. The two nations of Lone Star and the Texan Rangers stand united or unified behind the common beliefs of freedom, prosperity, and democracy. These, there are important decisions ahead. Oh boy. Let's see. So, the other Trans-Texas line. Oh. That's cool. I'm going to disable that again. Uh, we must begin a scavenging program. Don't want to do anything there. Invest in stimulus in Houston or Lone Star. I thought we already maxed out Lone Star, but whatever. You citizen scare package. How is this looking? Hey, the provisional thing in Texas, huh? Oh, that is definitely not who we want doing that. We want riders doing this. We definitely want to come up here. I'm glad I looked at this. There's a lot of area that we do not have cord. Wow. So I'm going to come back up here and... Oh, we can't cord that. Oh, we have to... Oh, compliance was reset. Oh, god dang it. What the heck? If I'd known that, I would have corded it sooner. Whatever. Uh, our flag, master of the state, Texas budget. Let's do that. The last Texan constitution required the state to balance, balance its budget every year. Never spending more than it receives in taxes, but the Cho Bang has proposed the new republic take a much more aggressive approach to make sure that the Lone Star is so big and bright. Yeah, it seems about right. Hey, I'm not going to get involved yet, because we got a lot of things to work with here that we need to finish off. Hopefully we'll make more guns, we'll make more doggos. We, got, we don't have enough water. Wow, actually, that's a little different. Oh, but we can't even do that since we got to get these guys back with us. The, uh, the guys. The followers of the apocalypse. In the long run, one of the biggest debates is the shape of the new republic. There are those who see Texas as a strong defense pact to keep the Legion and Santa Ana at bay. They prefer to limit the power of the state government and mandate it only to spend what it collects each year. This would make the state government more dependent on what the towns of Texas support. But Joe Bang has advocated a centralized department of finance that can run deficits and sell bonds to fund growth. As Joe Bang put it, in the long run, this may perhaps cause problems, but in the long run, we're all dead. And if we can't afford to fight Santa Ana and Lanius, that'll be a problem in the very short run. Limit national spending, buy Texan victory bonds. Ooh, I like the money. We lose stability, though. We get more war support, though. Eh, we're going to limit national spending. We'll probably be okay in terms of spending. Masters of the state. A state needs a head like everything else. Who need? We need to make sure a bit, we have a very simple choice. Who's going to lead us into the future, and who's going to take responsibility? Good question. I guess we can test the chop shop. Why not? Who cares? Let's go and do new citizens care package so we get some more daily compliance. That'd be pretty good. We can invest stimulus in... Oh, we don't get a lot of money. Oh, maybe we should spend more money then. God dang it. Oh, well. Lone Star. Did you reset? What level are they? No, it's only level 9, which isn't bad. So, I said, the question's a state. Who will Texas elect? Yes, it's that simple to win elections sometimes. Rusk for Texas. People Party. Uh, who are we? We're currently people. Joe Bang. Oh. It's a popular figurehead. He doesn't, he doesn't give you more political power. Uh, he's really focused on defense. Let's go with Cho Bang, because we're used to him. Because we'll play as Rusk when we play as the Texan Brotherhood, so. Well back, welcome back, Cho Bang, our flag. The image of a state is nearly as important as the state itself. The design of our flag will speak volumes on who we are as a people. Let our flag soar high no matter how it looks. Hopefully we, hopefully we do fix it. Oh, we we ch change this up as well. That's not bad. We mobilize and demobilize and we mobilize and... Oh, look at this. Oh, uh, we got... How much political power do we get a day? 1.6? All right. Plus air support, air superiority. Wow, we actually get stuff here. More daily army air XP game might be good to do as well. No absolutes allowed. Senior patrolman. Eh, that was not bad. I think we did choose that one. More attack I like. Texan veteran. Oh, that looks nice. Legion tactician. No absolutes allowed. I like that one probably a little bit more, but we got to save our political power up first. Patient teacher. Rapid responder. No, thank you. Ghoul ranger. Oh, Kathleen Torney's back. She died when she lost the Alamo chapter. Army XP gain. Uh, that stuff is all okay. 
Every cap for the army. We're on open to traders. Centralized stockpiles, huh? Economic advisors. We got Gene Tanner, of course. Daisy Roth, of course. Expedition leader, not bad, not bad. Urban planner, not bad. Slave trader. Waste not, want not. Okay. And down here we've got uh, political workhorse, of course. Consumer good stuff. Texan pride. Head in the clouds. Political mastermind. Oh, I probably will choose that one. 10% reduction cost in coring. Oh, wait. We lost that because we... Victory for the greater good, huh? Well, if that's the case, I'll probably go with more political power right now. This stuff is all not bad to get. I want more political power because I am weird like that. Hey, 1.8, we got 0.2 more. Not bad. After a new flag, we'll do our new capital. Every grand nation needs a grand city to be governed from. Even if we value individual freedoms, a shining city on the hill will be the proud beacon to which all our citizens can look. While some question spending time debating a flag as hordes of robots menace Texas across the Rio Grande, the provisional Congress wants to debate the issue. Texas has had many flags. The flag of Spain, France, Mexico, the two flags of the Republic, the American flag, the Confederate flag, the American flag again, the flag of the city of Lone Star, and the flag of Addis' supermutant army that scoured the waste until the Brotherhood of Seals showed up. We've got to decide which of the reasonable choices we will use for the restored Republic. The first flag nobody remembers. Lone Star of the Wastes. Let's use a Texas flag that we can still find in the ruins of Texas. The flag looks Texan. I wish I kind of could show you what you want. I don't mind like switching it up to like the first flag. Oh man, I don't know about that. The Lone Star of the Wastes. Let's use a Texan flag we still find in the ruins of Dallas. I don't know. I'm going to say... Mm, the, the Lone Star of the Wastes. Is that the same flag? That looks like it. This flag looks Texan, right? I'm going to say, let's use the Texas, Texan flag we can find still in the ruins of Dallas. Just because of Lone Star of the Waste, I have a feeling that's like that one, which I don't care for. Let's see this one. Because it might get us the Republic one that we want. There we go. Now that's nice. That's what I was kind of thinking that what it would turn out to be, which is not bad. We just got to make sure. Actually, let's get more divisions. It's going to cost us more, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. All right. Occupied territories. Oh, we're going to need a lot more infantry armor, aren't we? Oh, actually, we need more dogs. Huh. Okay, cool. And we also uh, will have to take out Louisiana. We'll probably kick out the Patrolman and Lafayette. And uh, take out Bayou Motors. Yeah, I'm really worried about this group here. we got to really beef these guys up. And there goes those guys. Well, they're God-fearing. Oh, uh, okay. And they must manually just fight against uh, those groups down there. Cool. That looks really cool. So the capital, or the question of capital... Yet another choice to be made, a privilege where most would think. Where shall we settle our seat of power from where we shall govern Texas? Which city shall become a beacon of spreading freedom and wealth? Dallas, the largest old world city in Texas? Houston, the coastal metropolis. Lone Star, the new world boom town. Well, we are the Republic of Texas. I don't mind Dallas. Uh, we don't have Austin, which we can make our own capital. Abilene, Texas is not bad. Uh, largest, the new world boom town? Hmm... Hmm. I think it's okay right now in Dallas, so. So next time, whenever I play the Texan Brotherhood, remind me, don't choose Dallas as a capital. Which makes more sense then, but whatever. Uh, the head decides. Rusk's plan? Oh, well, I guess we had Bang's plan. Oh, I guess a liberal state. Defensive militarism. Measured freedom. Spread freedom. Market expansion. Measured in wealth. Invasive capitalism. The corporate state. Economic sectors. Oh. For the Texan TAA stuff. Secure mission control. Oh! The Constitution. Ooh, I like that. The matters of war. I like that too. Division organization. Texan Defense Bureau. Air Force Academy. Well, that's kind of cool. We get more political power that way. Air range. Don't mess with Texas. Manifest destiny. Ooh! You can course stuff a little faster too. With the mercenary model. Oh, okay. The deputy model. Dep deputies for deputies. Deputies for deputies for deputies. Well, that seems kind of crazy. Let's go with matters of war. Speak soft and carry a big sit or stick or better yet, a shotgun. Yeah, shotguns are pretty nice. <laughs> Vest stimulus. Not a lot of money, but that's all right. Oh, simulator training. We lose energy, but we get uh, XP every day. I kind of like that. Oh, wow, a lot more army XP. Let's do simulator training. Why not? For funsies. Matters of war. And let's do Texan Defense Bureau. Let's do Air Force Academy. Master of the skies are not far away. Young children across Texas now look to the skies, praying for the day they may join the ravens that circle above their schoolhouses. So y'all are doing a God-fearing robot. Could we take out Lanius? Oh, they're still fighting down here. Acquire a cyber dog. Oh, that's kind of nice. Cruel tyrant. 
Uh, the Eastern Legion, of course, they got the Tip of the Sword, they got Brotherhood Slaves, Tribe of Tribes, Fiat Voluntas Tua, they rejected the Followers of Apocalypse, G Guerrilla Legacy, uh, Swiss Sauce, <laughs> the Rejection of Automation, the Slave Market of Taos. Yeah, we could go to war. I don't know. I want to prepare ourselves because we might end up going to war with Santa Ana. You never know if it might happen or not. So let's get, let's spend some time here. Make ourselves a little better. There goes Navajo Nation. Bye, Navajo. I don't know, man. I'm glad we changed our flag, though. At least our soldiers will be getting a lot more army XP. And actually, do we really need, need that much more army XP right now? Probably not, actually. 20 combo width. I like to make you a little thicker. We'll see what happens. You guys are 20 combo width as well. Actually, did you guys have enough... You do have enough support companies. Rocket launchers are still very, very nice. Let's grab some grenade rifles, because we were trying to get that earlier, but we were interrupted. Whatever. And do that if you can. Oh, do we not have any? Hmm. Hmm. We're out of factorinos. That's not bueno. Go, go back down to five, then. Share the wealth. Keep that in mind. So, Air Force Academy. Let's do national flight shows. Engaging the populace in our skyborne dreams could lead to an even greater interest in the programs. We'll show off our best pilots, impressing our citizens, and striking fear into the enemy. Get 10% more political power? Yes, please. Oh, we still have Texas Economic Union. Huh. We still lose political power. Texas Air Academy's more range is always nice. 1.8 is not bad at all. We're still mobilizing a little bit more. Nice. Very, very nice. Occupied territories. Ooh, we're still in outside of battalions, which is actually very good as well. Let's see. Honestly, a lot of resistance has gone down, which is great. I want to core this, but we don't have enough compliance yet. What about down here? 55,000 is quite a bit. Reclamation Authority, that's good. 20,000, not bad in Odessa. Where over here do we have stuff? And how far is this Louisiana? This is all West Louisiana, so we probably shouldn't core this stuff. I don't think it would be really appropriate if we did, so... Because I do want to release them. That would be kind of cool. I don't think we can actually release legit Louisiana, but whatever. Dive bombing is nice. Let's grab some formation flying. Do we get any more planes, actually? Because that could be pretty beneficial. Oh, we might have a few planes here. New Reno, Yakuza. Oh, okay, so Santa Ana is still going to war with other people, so... The less enemies that they have, the greater chance that they'll go to war with us. Oh, crap, we have no one here for any one of these guys. All right, they got another 50 planes. That's good, because I'm going to deploy them immediately. Put them right there. All righty, tidy. Commemorative Air Force. And eh, why not? We're already doing this. Texas has a proud history, and how better to remember it than through our air warriors? Let's remember our great battles all the while striving towards new victories. Might as well, right? All right, so you guys. Once you deploy, hopefully you get enough planes. If not, then we'll fix you up. Dying tile? And there's... Oh, wow. The opposite died pretty quickly. Make sure everyone gets enough planes... Good. Obviously, we, this is not a really good air base to do this all. Oh, the price is right. Oh, did we buy something, maybe? Maybe we did. There you go. Do it again. Every place is going to get... Oh, we already fixed it up. Well, okay, then. You guys get that. And then you guys get that. Cool. Let's go somewhere else. And deploy even more planes. So we do not have... Oh, you have no orders. There you go. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we got quite a few things here. Monoplane attackers. Alright. Alright, not bad. Let's see. Wow, that's all you got, huh? That is sad. That is very sad. That's not very good. Uh, Chop Shop, Lone Star, cool. Oh, with, did these... Oh, you can sell it, Prospectors. 13, Invest Stimulus. We might actually need to Invest Stimulus. Let's then go and do that, because we are running quite a cost right now. Commemorative Air Force. Well, don't mess with Texas, the Constitution. Texas had a total of eight constitutions. The 1827 Constitution, the 1836 Constitution of the Republic, the 1845 Constitution, the, 61, the 161, which we don't talk about, the 66 Constitution, the 69 Constitution, or the, I should really say 1866, and the 1869, nice, the 1876 Constitution, and the 2054 Constitution. Let's make another one. Why not? We're still trying to improve our industry more and more and more and more. We finally got them replicators. I really don't want to join the war against these guys yet, so sorry guys, not interested. Hey, divisions. I'm actually going to throw you guys here because you're going to need it. Grenade rifles, nice. Let's go ahead and grab better doggos because we can. Looking like we're filling all our lines. 
pretty darn nicely. You guys, go and Cory again. There you go. Oh, we didn't, we didn't Cory originally. Armadillo. We'll probably do that. We'll probably do that. 300 political power, whatever. Currently get two a day. That's not bad. And we're still doing a focus at the same time. I'd say that is quite ideal. Alright, so we're pretty good. I'm thinking if we can prevent a war with us and Lanius. Oh. Okay, what is this? Our constitution with the formation of the Republic, the next important step is for us to frame our nation just like in the stories of years past. Battling will be fierce and the provisions will be demanded, required, or hated by our constituents and community. The Texas Constitution is comprised of articles and subsections. Each of the five articles is unlocked through the focus tree, with subsections being unlocked through the focus tree event. Each subsection can be added once to the Constitution and imparts unique effects. The Constitution has no effect until signed, but once signed, it's no longer editable. Editable? Edible. Edit edit able. Choose wildly when to sign the document. Convention time. Um, I about signed it right there. Oh, let's let's keep her down in the bottom right. All right. Ooh, what is this? Foundations of a government. We need to do the Bill of Rights. Like, okay, well, text the Bill of Rights, sure. So, what type of rights do we give people, or what rights will they have when they when we're done here? Um, APCs. That's not bad. What do we? Have? What is this? Free gun gliders. I'm not even gonna bother with that. Get out of here. Air air blockers. Now we good too. Exploration for technology. Find a party to do such a thing. Bomb gliders. That's fine. Power armor. We're gonna keep that skate equipment. Oh, that's really cool. Infantry armor. Keep it up for now. Oh, do we not have slave infantry? What the heck? Do we have to re-research that? Wait, it's not here anymore. Infantry armor, is it? Slave collars? I might be going crazy, but I don't see it in here. Um, What am I supposed to do about that then? Crud. <laughs> oh, are we, oh, we're actually losing money now. Wow. That is not good. But we have to get these divisions. If that's the case, we will probably just go to war with these guys then again. And hopefully smash them to bits. How, what are these guys up to? Construction repair? Okay. Uh, freedom of speech. Foundations of government. Cool. Uh, sure, why not? More political power, less stability. Why not? Are we ready to do a good job? Hopefully. Screw it. We're going to get rid of these guys then. If these guys are too busy, then we'll be, probably be okay. Uh... I don't really know if we can really push, but it says we'll do okay. And if they say we'll do okay, then they gotta be right, right? You guys don't want to do okay. Well, the infantry said they can do well. Who am I to stop? Okay, then. See, once you unify and you get a relatively okay-ish army, well, they're kind of looking, not looking good right there. Well, now they kind of are. Okay, well, we'll take it. Oh, wait, how's the intelligence agency? Well, we don't have one. Um, let's go with that one. That... We're not quite the Brotherhood. We lost all that money, too. That kind of sucks. Article 1? I don't want to click on anything. I, I don't trust that. Oh, please don't tell me they're going to go to war with us next. That's Moctezuma so down there. Well, you guys are doing pretty well. If that's the case, you guys might do well. But let's wait for you guys. You guys are doing okay right there, too. The infantry are doing okay-ish. They have up to 74 divisions. Not bad. 22,000 manpower. I think we're doing really, really well. Just all you have to do is unify. And how's the air looking? Of course, that does help when you have about 10 air damage going on at the same time. Foundations of uh, government. Cool. Oh, hold on, my bad. I didn't mean to scroll like that. I meant to do this. The powers of the government. Separation of powers. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. I'm not signing jack squat yet. Legislature, sure. I, I'm really just kind of... None. Okay, well, whatever. Alright, well, it seems like it's going fairly well for us now. Can you guys do well? Can you guys do well? Since you are my special forces, you should be able to do fairly well. Yeah, I guess Lanius, once you have... Of course, if you have enough air power, you'll do okay, regardless. But, yeah, I don't know. Oh, they had a little bit of resistance. That's not good for them. But, oh, Death Clause ate some of our team. That's not good. How do I get more... Do I have to re-research that? That's fine with me if I have to re-research that. Okay, we do. I was not expecting that at all. Hmm... Maybe I should not have gotten rid of my militia divisions. God dang it. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely going to be out of infantry armor. If that's the case, let's come back down here and duplicate you guys. Or actually, don't duplicate you guys. Duplicate you guys. It's cheaper this way. Temp. Garrisons. There we go. 
We got enough army XP to do this, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, actually, militia is probably cheaper, actually. Militia, militia, not, not you, militia. There we go. Just for now, it's going to cost a lot more guns, but it's fine. Doesn't matter. Legislature, cool. Formation flying. Judiciary, why not? Joe Bang and Texan Brotherhood may have very different ideas of justice. Which shall prevail? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I am a little disappointed, though, that we lost a research slot. Why would we lose a research slot? Oh, I was going to do this too. I almost forgot about crowd control gear again. Oof. Hey, but hey, you know what? With enough air XP, you can do anything you really want. Just in case we don't have enough range for our other planes and such. Good. Let's grab some medics, auto injectors. Thank you. You guys come up here. Yeah, it's not too bad when you kill all these guys off. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? Oh, we encircle these guys. Kind of. They have a little port right there, but whatever. <clears throat> there we go. Got them Texan Rangers. Suits. Oh, we got to do all that stuff again. Are you kidding me, man? Okay, they went to War of the Moctezuma. That's actually working out very well for us. If that's the case, I'm going to have you guys come down here then. You guys can help push this way then. Oh, that's a little too far. There you go. Good luck with that. Ooh, can we core Armadillo? Yes, please. Thank you. No more resistance. 23,000 more people added to become a core part of our population. Followers establish themselves. Thank you very much. This way we don't lower our... That's still not very good for quarterly profits. <clears throat> it doesn't lower us too much. War propaganda. We have enough for that. Eh, we might as well. We got enough political power every day, right? Two a day? Not bad. Well, 1.7 right now, but that's fine. Stability could be better. Uh, command power. Okay, yeah, why not? Judiciary is kind of good to have. How about settlements? Why not? Maybe get some more water, too. Spending political power like out the wazoo convention, huh? The executive? Sure, why not? Sure. Is there anything here yet? Nope. Corruption in Dallas. Election in... Wait. Oh. If you want to read about this, go right ahead. We'll root out all the injustice. Powers of the government. Appointment? Oh, do we want an election? That's kind of hard to read, I'll be honest. Conscription factor plus 3%. So we do that one and go back. What does this one do for us? Appointment? Compliant. Oh, I like compliance. But, uh... Conscription, it won't really matter where we're headed, probably, so. I'm gonna go with appointment. So far, doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Yeah, Lanny doesn't have very much on us right now. We, oh, we killed 18. Oh, that's a lot of divisions dead. Centralized stockpiles, though. That seems like it really does hurt us a little bit. Which I don't like. I might actually go. Let's see. Resources to market. Capture income. Does this go up any more? No. We're already on the max one here. We might consider actually lowering this going up here. Because we can get more money this way. It does hurt us, but I want more money. The highest branch of the Texas tree? Sure. Why not? Oh, wait. Where'd the thing go? I didn't sign anything. Where'd the Constitution go? What the heck? Um, I didn't sign anything. I promise you, I did not sign anything. Where'd it go? Seriously, where'd it go? Oh, we have no one here. God dang it. That seems a little bugged, I would say, but whatever. Oh, don't tell me we gotta make... Oh, traders from the Southern Empires. Oh, uh, if you like to read about this, this, this sometimes happens, but we ask how to cultivate these fruits. Learn some agriculture. Oh, it becomes expert negotiator. That's not bad. We can't make a purchase right now. Let's do this one. There's some money, but he gets becomes an expert negotiator. Where do the profits flex? Income. Hmm. We are losing money, which I don't like. I don't, so I don't want to spend any more for now. Construction is not bad. Electrical extraction is not bad. Automation might as well. Crowd control. Thank goodness. Grab some of that. Well, then we'll, we'll have to divide this up to make sure that we get uh, New Mexico and Colorado, states of Colorado. Because we already have Oklahoma here, which is kind of nice. Still. Hmm, I'm going to have to delete some divisions then if we can't lower our trade. Yeah, I will go up to Wilco Drummond because we got enough factories going on for now, I think. 
Yeah, we got plenty of lines. I think we'll be okay. So, Justice of the Peace. Although the brother of the brother and Joe Banger allies have very different takes on the law. The Justice brother never bothered to formalize its legal code, preferring a rough and ready frontier justice. In contrast, Lone Star has excelled with things like contracts and judges. Joe Bang believes that the Republic of Texas needs a formal judicial system to promote economic development, while the Brotherhood thinks injustice should be kept at the local level. Keats for his part is also skeptical of letting towns directly appoint their judges with which will protect super mutant minorities. Armed posses served as well so far. Cho and Keats carry the day. Judges shall be appointed by Congress. Sure, we'll do that one. Just because we are from the Brotherhood, so. Or, from, we are from the Lone Star Group. Freedom of speech? Sure, why not? The Texan Constitution guarantees freedom of speech at Mr. Entertainment's urging. It shall again. <laughs> yeah, I bet he would like that. Oh, we got uh, a Casa place. Hey, they actually capitulated. Not bad. Okay, so all you have to do is get overwhelming air superiority and have enough divisions to do whatever we need to. Oh, is there anything for about Mexi New Mexico? No? Okay, well, I guess that just means we ha I will have to divide this up off screen. Hey, freed slaves, that tool thinks and fights. Nice. A jewel and a crown, too. Cool. Uh, Actually, with that in mind. Well, it puts us even more debt into debt. Wow. Well, we could probably start justifying against these guys, too. But we'll probably get something for that later. I do want to go to figure out if we can go to war with these guys soon. I think that'd be good to start thinking about taking out these guys. You already set up there, which is great. You are where? Actually. You guys come over here then. Do that. I think we're ready to take out Santa Ana. Yeah, I mean, we don't have nearly as many divisions as they do, but, you know, that's not bad. Provisional Republic of Texas is not looking too bad, but I probably will divide this up into more different states, just because I think that would probably be best. But, you know what? Let's get through one more focus, and then we'll call it an episode, perhaps. Uh, seriously, what happened to the thingamabob in terms of, uh... Oh, look at that. Confederate... Texan Confederate Air Force. Okay. Military heritage, huh? Control the I-10, of course, and the control the I-20. Yeah, this is very, very weird. Becoming this nation, basically. Uh, after we play Lone Star, but whatever. It's, it's kind of cool, I'd say. It's definitely cool. Uh, air stuff. Nothing new. It's kind of... Kind of a bummerino. Well, that's fine, whatever. Uh, no. Let's grab the Special Forces Scout Kits and do our last focus. Freedom of Religion. Don't mess with Texas. Formation of the TBR. Well, that looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do Convention. No, I want to do everything else first and then do that one. So, the right to bear arms. An armed society is a polite society, and Texans are very, very polite. Cool, but we'll end today's episode there. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully have some sort of New Mexican puppet as well as the beginning of some sort of Colorado puppet as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.